Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's been a while since I did a model train video, but I decided to do one tonight since I was uh, in the mood for to do one here. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, and uh, I've been just mainly been showing videos in the past of freight and via trains that are common in my area. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of my newest acquisitions and what I've been up to since I've been getting some requests and also show you where I get them from since I've gotten a few questions on that uh, the track that I was running my trains on is actually dismantled right now I will be putting it back on later this summer since the rooms in the house have been renovated and recarpeted and that's kind of displaced everything and made a big mess uh, let me just show you without further ado what I've been up to with the trains and how they've been doing. I've got two bookcases to put them on. And yes, that's a model of the Titanic on the top. And so I have uh, some of my older stuff down below and up here is newer stuff. That's older Athern Genesis and Athern stuff mixed in with some new stuff. Uh, up here, I got here to start off to get into it quickly, I have a couple of Kato uh, undecorated SD70 Mac. Uh, I only collect HO scale because I find N scale too small to enjoy. Uh, I love these locomotives a lot, even though they're even that they're undecorated. I buy them when I can, and depending on the price. And I have a few of them already. And Yes, if, in case you're asking, there is actually an engine in the box as well as the engine out here on display. Uh, I got an Atlas uh, Dash 8 uh, 4DBW in that one. I still have to unwrap. This is, they're still in the boxes because of the everything having to be packed up because of the carpeting and renovation that happened in the last few months. Uh, this engine I haven't had very long. Uh, this engine I've only had for about a month or two. Uh, I'm almost pretty much done detailing it. It's a Kato AC4400 CW and CEFX. I found this engine by luck and I was very happy to get it. And Athern SD75. Believe it or not, my only, one of my two only Athern acquisitions this uh, 2011. I've got this engine here. Uh, actually probably the best quality ones I've seen in a while. I got Atlas and Kato stuff back here packaged up. Mostly the Atlas stuff is Dash 8 40 BWs and Dash 8 40 CWs. I just got more stuff packaged up here, and all my Proto stuff is still packaged up here. And here's a Kato SD90 43 Mac in Union Pacific. We will deliver. I really like these engines, and I have all seven of them in total that Kato made. Yeah, they run really well, and they're very hard to find these days. And moving down here, uh, I got a, another BNSF-840 BW. I'm trying to get one last one, the 546. It's hard to find. And there's a Dash 8 down below the CW. And some good BNSF and Santa Fe CW, uh, CWs. Here's a very special engine to, make, to me. Uh, uh, this is a Kato SD80 Mac. I really like these models even more than the SD70s. I got my first one uh, four years ago in a hobby shop in Brantford, Ontario. And I've since acquired uh, two more on top of that. And I have a fourth one on the way that I still have to work on. And this one I still have yet to decide what to do with it. And down below is just more boxes and stuff, but these engines run really well. They're very hard to get, and even the undecorated SD9043 Max are really hard to find by Kato. And over here, different stuff here. Uh, another 804 Santa Fe Dash 8 40 CW Atlas. It was a really nice engine. Found it about a month or month and a bit ago. 
And it's from an older run. I found this at a hobby store. It had never been sold. So this was very lucky because I think this was like a 2005 release. It's from a few years ago. And I have my CN Bluebird behind it packaged up and got a couple other engines in there. I think back there is another undecorated 70 Mac. And here's a at UP-8 40CW. And my other Athern 2011 acquisition SD75 in Santa Fe so this one's very hard to find and I still get to put the handrails on it I've been really busy so I haven't been getting very much time to get work done and here's this one I did and this one I found beginning of this year this one I found later actually I got this engine here at the same time I got this one here from a, a company in Colorado called High Country Hobbies. Very nice guy over the phone too. And here's some other, this is older stuff I've had for a while. I think this is 344. Oops. Yeah, 344. And I already have that one there. Don't want to knock something over. There's some more stuff down here. You can like it or not like it, but I really like, you can't go wrong with the Santa Fe or BNSF or Union Pacific. And down there's just other stuff here. This is most of my Cotto stuff this year. And this is my Canadian Pacific SD9043 Mac. I do have some Canadian stuff. It's not all just you know, U.S. I just don't like collecting just CN and CP all the time even though I am Canadian. <laughs> I just find the American Railroads a lot more colorful. And down here this is a mess. This is just stuff I've had for a long time. Some of it I'm working on. Take a while. There's another undecorated SD80 Mac. HO scale of course. And here's another 8242 SD SD9043 Mac. And over here is, I got this one recently. This is a Cotto Dash 9. Got this from Colorado as well. And uh, almost done with it. I'm just going to put one or two more detail parts on it. And that one will be done. I even got some of the new Atlas Dash 840 BWs. And, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, most of the stuff is still in storage. Some of it's behind there. But about, this is almost half of it here. So the trains will get unpacked and they'll start running again. And I'll start doing videos again. I hadn't disappeared forever. But uh, just a lot of work to do. In fact, some people have asked me where I purchased my stuff from. This is my channel here with a Kato. Uh, video with their SD40-2 mid productions with sound. My favorite one here is modeltrainstuff.com and be Klein. Been shopping there for three years at least. It's also convenient because my sister, my sister lives in Maryland, so sometimes I pay a visit to the store when I go down and see her. So it's a pretty impressive store and very friendly staff. And and another good one here, uh, Toy Train Heaven, which is pretty good. I really like this one here. In fact, if I look kind of carefully, they still have my undecorated engine still available for sale. <laughs> they sometimes they've been showing up all over the place. I don't know why, because it's an old production run and. Usually when stuff disappears, it disappears forever. And another one here is mm, Hiawatha Hobbies. I don't like dealing with uh, Train World or Train World Online because I find their staff really snooty and whatever. But uh, these are the ones I go to. I really like them. So hopefully I'll get the trains running and uh, soon, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, have, take care. Bye.